I'm Dave Ford and in this short screencast I'm going to show us how we can use editable text boxes within PowerPoint. Now it's possible to create them directly in PowerPoint but it's a little bit fiddly and if you're not confident um, it can put a few people off. So what I've done is I've created a basic template so you can just copy and paste some boxes into your own presentation. Now the way to do that is we need to go to my website which is www.a6training.co.uk we then go down to resources and then PowerPoint. There's a whole load of different templates for different types of things but for today we're looking at the editable text boxes one. So I'm going to click on the link there and what it's going to do is it's going to open a PowerPoint presentation. So I click on OK and it should launch Microsoft PowerPoint and bring in the presentation. Now it, in 2003 it should open straight away in 2007 it might come up with a security warning so I need to then just enable the content so I click on OK there and what this presentation has is three slides the first is just a title slide the second one is some instructions so if you get confused you can just read the instructions and it'll tell you what to do and then the third one is the main one and what I've done here is I've picked sort of four different fonts and sizes and then seven different possible colour combinations so let's say I wanted a editable text box which is in Arial 28 with blue on yellow I click on that one there and I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into a presentation that I've already started creating so I've got a presentation here which is about the using PowerPoint in classrooms and I want to have a text box where we can add advantages and another one where we can add disadvantages so I'm going to just right click and paste and I'm then going to just drag it into the right position and resize it. So I'm going to have that one about there. I'm then going to copy that and paste and drag that over to here. And that's it. Now when I run my slideshow as we type into the presentation um, it will uh, record it within the text box. When I exit the presentation this information will be automatically saved. So it's worth noting that you need to save a master copy and then have a different copy that you use in the lesson otherwise next time you come in to use it you'll find you'll have the previous sessions uh, entries. But it's very straightforward and as long as you can copy and paste you can take these little boxes and we can add them to a slide.